My name is Pierre Blier and I'm a professor in the Department of Psychiatry as well as the Department of Cellular and Molecular Medicine at the University of Ottawa. I'm a clinician scientist, meaning that I do both basic research and clinical work. I'm Dr. Georg Nordhoff. I'm originally from Germany. I hold the Canada Research Chair for Mind, Brain Imaging and Neuroethics as well as a Michael Smith Chair for Neuroscience and Mental Health. And I'm working with something with what you are very familiar with, yourself and your consciousness. As you know, I've been using uh, ketamine in some of my very treatment resistant patients and uh, it'd be wonderful to, to couple that to brain imaging, but uh, do we have any facilities right now that we could use? So we did actually in the past some challenge studies with ketamine in healthy subjects, but I hope once we have the right equipment that we can really scan some of your patients before and afterwards. I understand this uh, new imaging facility mm -hmm. that we will have will be a high resolution mm -hmm. functional magnetic resonance uh, imaging. It's also going to be combined with positron emission tomography. The ideal opportunity which this new device will offer is really to measure neuronal and biochemical activity simultaneously, how they are related. And that's something which is very much unclear in the brain on the regional level of activity. Of course, when it comes to the brain, nothing is simple because both the receptors and the concentration of the whole compounds reflect uh, different biochemical processes in the brain. And the more biochemical measures we have, the more likely the chance is that we tap into something which is clinically and therapeutically relevant. By introducing this technology, it sets in the line that psychiatry becomes a normal medical discipline. And I know that Pierre is working since years on that in his wonderful combined study design, basic science, and clinical therapeutic uh, application. So psychiatry really becomes, I hope, that in 20 years, much of the stigma is gone, and it is a normal discipline like neurology, like internal medicine. Cardiology, for example, uh, 150 years ago, we knew somebody had a heart attack because they had a big pressure on the chest and something bad really happened afterwards. So now with these new imaging technique, it's going to be the equivalent of knowing which coronary artery is obstructed. Mm -hmm. And of course, if we're not going to be like surgeon, well, we'll be able to take a knife directly to, to that artery, but we'll be able to maybe even use some of our own current treatments to get at these parts that are not functioning well to intervene there and hopefully make people better, faster. Yeah, that's a wonderful example. Mm -hmm.